Imagine being told that your DNA doesn't just define who you are, but it holds ancient secrets that could rewrite the history books. That's exactly what happened when scientists began to study the DNA of the Irish people. What they found left the scientific world stunned and opened up a whole new understanding of human history. In this video, we're going to explore why the Irish DNA surprised scientists and what it reveals about the people, their past, and their connection to the rest of the world. Trust me, this is a story you'll want to hear. Let's dive in. Chapter 1. A Surprising Discovery For centuries, historians and archaeologists have painted a clear picture of Ireland's ancient past. According to traditional accounts, Ireland's early inhabitants were thought to have come from neighbouring areas, particularly from mainland Europe. These early settlers supposedly migrated across the Irish Sea in multiple waves over thousands of years, forming the foundation of Irish society as we know it today. The belief was that these settlers, including the Celts, shaped the culture, language and identity of the Irish people. However, recent DNA research has completely shattered this long-held narrative. Scientists have discovered that the Irish genetic makeup is far more complex than previously thought. It turns out that the Irish are not merely a mix of Celtic tribes and neighbouring European populations. Instead, traces of DNA found in the Irish population point to much older, unexpected connections, specifically links to ancient populations that lived thousands of miles away in regions like the Middle East. This discovery is groundbreaking for a few reasons. Firstly, it challenges the assumption that the Irish are mainly descendants of European settlers who arrived after the last Ice Age. Instead, the genetic markers found in the Irish gene pool suggest that their ancestors were also linked to the ancient farmers who spread across Europe during the Neolithic period. These early farmers, who originated in the Fertile Crescent, modern-day Turkey, Iraq and Syria, carried with them agricultural knowledge and a distinct genetic signature that has been preserved in the Irish population for thousands of years. What this means for the Irish is profound. It reveals a deeper, more complex ancestry, connecting them to some of the earliest human civilizations. Their DNA has, in essence, become a living time capsule, holding clues from a forgotten era that is only now being unlocked by modern science. This reshapes our understanding of Ireland's history, and more broadly, human migration across Europe. Chapter 2. The Celts. The Celts have long been celebrated as the foundation of Irish identity. From language and culture to music and art, their influence is undeniably vast. For centuries, Ireland's heritage has been deeply intertwined with the arrival of the Celts, believed to have settled on the island around 500 BCE. This narrative has shaped not only how we view Ireland's ancient past, but also how we understand Irish society today. However, Recent DNA studies suggest that the Celtic contribution to Ireland's genetic history might not be as pivotal as we once thought. New research indicates that the Celts, while undeniably influential, may not have been the dominant group behind the Irish gene pool. Instead, their role might have been more cultural than genetic. The Celts were likely a wave of settlers who brought with them language, customs and traditions, which became embedded in Irish society. However, they may not have been the primary force in shaping the genetic makeup of the Irish people. Rather than representing a large-scale migration, the Celts may have blended with already established populations, influencing cultural aspects rather than altering the DNA of the island's inhabitants. When we look at the DNA of modern-day Irish people, it becomes clear that much of their genetic heritage predates the Celtic migrations. Traces of ancient DNA, far older than the arrival of the Celts, can be found in the Irish population dating back to the time of the island's first settlers, those who arrived as hunter-gatherers or the early farmers of the Neolithic period. These early groups left a more significant genetic footprint and their influence is still present today. The Celtic story, therefore, while important, is just one chapter in a far older and more intricate history of Ireland's people. The deeper roots of Irish ancestry lie in much earlier migrations, reminding us that the history of Ireland is not as simple as it may seem. Chapter 3 a journey across Europe. As startling as it may sound, Irish DNA has been found to contain traces of ancestry from the Middle East. Yes, the Middle East, the very region where civilization itself is believed to have begun. This surprising connection dates back thousands of years, likely during the time of the ancient farmers who migrated westward from the Near East across Europe. Researchers have uncovered that the 
Irish genetic makeup shares notable similarities with ancient peoples from the Fertile Crescent, the cradle of civilization. These early farmers who spread across Europe came from regions that are now part of modern day Turkey, Iraq, and Syria. This revelation is both fascinating and transformative. It challenges the traditional view of Ireland's genetic history, shifting the narrative of human migration in Europe. What does this mean for the Irish? It means that their heritage is not just tied to one wave of settlers or invaders. The Irish people today are a living testament to multiple ancient migrations and cultural exchanges, with each wave of settlers leaving its own genetic signature. From the ancient farmers of the Middle East to the later arrivals from Europe, the Irish have absorbed influences from all corners of the ancient world. This blend of ancient lineages makes their genetic heritage incredibly rich and diverse, helping to paint a much broader picture of the history of Ireland. Chapter 4. Vikings, Normans and the Genetic Legacy As we dive deeper into the story of Ireland's genetic makeup, we cannot overlook the Viking and Norman influences. These groups are well known for their impact on Ireland, especially during the Viking raids in the 8th to 12th centuries. But beyond their historical invasions, their genetic influence on the Irish people is equally significant. Surprisingly, DNA studies have shown that both the Vikings and the Normans left a lasting imprint on the Irish gene pool. While they may have initially arrived as conquerors, over time they settled, intermarried and became part of the Irish population. This blending of genes wasn't just a brief moment in history, it created long-lasting genetic ties that still exist in the Irish population today. The Vikings in particular contributed to the genetic diversity of the Irish, especially in coastal regions where they established strongholds. Normans too left their mark, particularly in the south and east of Ireland, as they ruled and integrated into the local culture. These genetic legacies are not just historical facts, they're present in the Irish people of today, adding another layer to their complex ancestry. So, while we remember the Vikings and Normans for their invasions, it's important to acknowledge their lasting genetic and cultural impact. These groups didn't just conquer Ireland, they became part of its story, shaping the genetic landscape of the Irish people in ways that we are still uncovering. Chapter 5. The Importance of the Neolithic Revolution in Irish DNA One of the most transformative moments in Irish genetic history occurred during the Neolithic period, when farming began to spread across Europe. This was not just an agricultural revolution, it was a pivotal turning point that reshaped the way people lived and, quite remarkably, changed their genetic makeup as well. Before the Neolithic Revolution, Ireland, like much of Europe, was inhabited by hunter-gatherers. These people lived off the land by hunting animals and foraging for food, moving frequently to follow the seasons and the availability of resources. Their lifestyle was deeply connected to nature and the environment in ways that are hard to imagine today. But as farming practices arrived in Ireland, everything changed. The introduction of agriculture brought new tools, new technologies, and most significantly, new genes into the local population. Farming was more than just a way to produce food, it altered the very fabric of society. The early farmers who introduced agriculture to Ireland brought with them genes from the Mediterranean and the Near East. These populations, who had already developed farming techniques thousands of years earlier, helped shape the genetic makeup of future generations in Ireland. As these early farmers settled and spread their practices, their DNA mingled with the indigenous populations, laying the foundation for what would become modern Irish identity. So, while we often associate Ireland's early history with the Celts, the roots of Irish civilization stretch much further back in time. The Neolithic Revolution and its influence on Irish DNA demonstrate that the island's history is far older and more complex than we might have ever realised. The genetic legacy of the ancient farmers who introduced agriculture remains deeply woven into the Irish people today, providing a fascinating glimpse into the island's ancient past. Chapter 6. The Genetic Legacy of the Irish Diaspora While the Irish people are deeply connected to their homeland, the story of their genetic legacy doesn't end within Ireland's borders. The Irish diaspora, which spans across the globe, has left an indelible mark on the genetic makeup of many countries, particularly in places like the United States, Canada, Australia and beyond. Millions of people with Irish ancestry live in these countries today and their genetic connections to Ireland are part of a broader, 
international family tree. What's fascinating is that these Irish descendants often carry more than just a trace of their Irish roots in their DNA. Their genetic makeup reflects a unique mix of cultures and ancestries they encountered during their migration. Over generations, Irish people have married into and integrated with local populations in their new homes, blending their genes with those of native peoples. This means that Irish DNA found outside of Ireland isn't just Irish. It's a fusion of Irish and many other cultures, creating a diverse genetic landscape. For those of you watching this video who are of Irish descent, it's possible that your family's DNA tells the story of this global journey. Whether it's a link to Native American ancestors in the US or connections to Anglo-Saxon lines in England, the Irish diaspora has played a crucial role in spreading and enriching the Irish genetic legacy. This interconnectedness highlights just how expansive and far-reaching the Irish genetic story truly is. Chapter 7. Ireland's Genetic Ancestry. A final puzzle piece. As we continue to uncover the secrets hidden within Irish DNA, one thing becomes abundantly clear. Ireland's genetic history is far more intricate and layered than we ever imagined. It's like piecing together a vast, complex puzzle, with each discovery adding a new layer of understanding to the rich story of the Irish people. From the ancient farmers of the Middle East who brought agriculture to Ireland, to the Viking invaders who mingled their bloodlines with the locals, to the Normans who left their genetic imprint, each wave of migration and settlement has contributed to the Irish genetic tapestry. These ancient migrations were not isolated events. Rather, they were part of a long continuum of human movement, survival, and adaptation that shaped the island's genetic identity. What we're beginning to realise is that Irish DNA isn't just a story of one group of people coming and staying. It's a story of survival, blending, and transformation over thousands of years. The complexity of Irish genetic ancestry offers us a unique window into human history, revealing the many interconnected journeys that have shaped not only the Irish people, but the broader history of migration and settlement across Europe and the world. In the end, Irish DNA is a living testament to the resilience and adaptability of humanity, proving that our stories are far more intertwined than we've ever known. And as we continue to study these genetic mysteries, we uncover not only the story of Ireland, but a deeper understanding of human heritage itself. So, why did Irish DNA surprise scientists? Because it opened a door to a deeper understanding of human history, one that crosses borders and time periods. It reveals a past where people from all corners of the world came together, leaving their mark on Ireland's genetic tapestry. This discovery doesn't just change how we view Ireland's history, it changes how we understand the very nature of human migration and connection across the globe. But the real question is, what does this mean for us today? How does understanding the complexity of our ancestors shape our identity and our connection to the past? For the Irish, and for all of us, it's a powerful reminder that our histories are far more intricate and intertwined than we ever imagined. It's as if we're all connected through this vast web of human journeys, each thread telling a unique story. As you reflect on the story of Irish DNA, think about your own heritage. So, what ancient connections might lie hidden in your DNA, waiting to be discovered? Could your family's roots stretch back to unexpected places or times? Let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear your thoughts and any surprising family stories or DNA discoveries you've made. If you enjoyed this fascinating dive into the mysteries of Irish DNA, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. We've got more exciting stories to share with you, stories that uncover the hidden links between us all. Join the conversation and let's continue to explore the threads of our shared human history. Thank you for watching and see you next time.